And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some ethereal aggro in ranked. Um, definitely looks like a, a fun deck to play. This is going to be our first time playing this. What this is about, or ephemeral, this is about um, the ephemeral keyword. Whenever unit dies, this unit dies when it strikes or when the round ends. All right, um, so we're just trying to play a lot of ephemeral uh, um, creatures. The reason, the reason why for our payoffs, we have Shark Chariot, which is an ephemeral um, creature that says whenever an ephemeral ally attacks and I'm dead, return me to play attacking. Definitely a very powerful thing. So like, um, you know, you, you play the Shark Chariot, it's a 3-1, you attack with it, it dies. Now, next time you play, you, next time you attack with any ephemeral thing, the Shark Chariot comes back as the 3-1 attacking. And so basically every attack step, if you're attacking with Ephemerals, you just keep getting these Shark Chariots back. Real powerful. You have the Soul Shepherd that gives all of your Ephemeral allies plus one, plus one. So you can make them even bigger. <clears throat> um, you know, we have a couple of cards that just make some Ephemerals, like the Haunted Relic and the uh, Onslaught of Shadows. The Phantom Prankster says whenever our allies die, it deals one to the opponent. So each time we have our ephemeral, our ephemeral strike, then they die, deal one to the opponent. So that can definitely add up. Um, we have Zed, which Zed, whenever Zed attacks, creates um, an ephemeral um, living shadow. So that also you know triggers the the uh, sharks to come on back and everything. And Zed's just a you know obviously a really strong card. Our other champion Hikaram. Um, whenever we've attacked with eight plus ephemeral allies levels up also whenever hakaram attacks you get two three two ephemerals so that's you know tax for with, for 10 power which is really strong but if you've attacked with eight then it levels up and all of your ephemerals get plus two plus zero and whenever you know it still attacks gets the two twos um and then of course scuttle guys last last kind of like payoff um, every ephemeral that dies, like any of our creatures that die, re reduces the cost of Scuttle Geist. And so like later on in the game, Scuttle Geist is basically going to be like a free or really reduced cost 5-5. Five, five. So yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to this. This is going to be my first time playing the ephemeral strat. Should be pretty fun. We're going to go play it over in Ranked and try to level up from our current Bronze 2. What's that? So... There was iron, then bronze, and then does it go to silver next? So is it iron, bronze, silver, gold, platinum, diamond, masters? Does that sound right? I'm going to just put these things back and try again. Hecarim. Hecarim. All right, green, green glade duo. Okay, that's right. So there's seven. So there's seven levels. Each one having. Um, you know, level one, you're, you know, going, you start at the fourth, level four, and go down to level one, and then get to the new. A true Fragnorian welcome. Boo. Let's move. Huh? We've been playing against a whole lot of Frostbite today in Ranked. Frostbite seems to be a pretty popular strategy right now. This is the first the first day after the new changes. There's a challenger level. Is that somewhere in there? Jump whoops. Hmm. Hey. 
All right, so we'll just kill our Zed, draw two. Challenger is like mythic, no tiers, just individual ranks. Okay, yeah, that's that's like the master, that's like master level, right? Ow, ow. We're at five mana. Hmm. We can attack for a good amount. I think it's better just to play Shadow Assassin and Soul Shepherd. Soul Shepherd. Probably is. So I guess what I'm calling what I'm calling Master level is that is that actually called Challenger level? Fresh tracks. Gotcha. Hang on, Cern. Those could be like the same the same thing. Nothing escapes my watch. They'll never see us coming. Ow, ow. Alright, so we got six we're about to have six mana. So we can play this Hikarum. And even if Hikarum dies. You cannot escape. We can bring back Hikarum with the Rekindler. We could also just play the Rekindler and bring back Zed. But I think it's probably better to have Hikarum in play. And try to bring back Hikarum. Or Hecarim. I need it. Sorry. Hecarim. Hecarim. Hmm. So they just passed. They wasted all that mana. I can go straight to attacks, or I can do a bunch of stuff. They just passed. It doesn't seem like they have a whole lot of stuff. Denied. Look at deny. Still being good at. So sequencing's kind of odd. I mean, I guess I played this first so I could get the plus one, but you know, would have got the plus one, plus one, so it it gets ooh gets that either way. Uh, no, you can chill. We'll just attack with everything here. Look out for Reavers. Find the signal fires. <clears throat> Lethal. Ephemeral aggro. We are now one to one know. That was sweet. That was pretty cool. Yeah, my opponent playing that 10 mana sorcery speed removal spell really uh, walked right into deny. Need to, need to nerf it more, it looks like.
Okay, let's see. <clears throat> um, I'm not really sure, like, the, the whole Glimpse Beyond... I'm not sure if the Glimpse Beyond really fits in here, to be honest. Because, like... So I guess, like, the Glimpse Beyond, we sack our ephemeral stuff, but we want to strike with our ephemeral stuff. You can't strike and sacrifice. As far as I know. One friend for each crab I saw today. The Yordle here's with me. Okay, glimpses for whenever they use creature removal or frostbite and ephem an ephemeral. I gotcha. Yeah, that's what we used it before whenever they tried to use removal on our Zed. We got to sack it and draw two. So that's really its role here, too. Okay. Without a sound. I mean, these are just gonna just kind of trade anyway. You cannot escape. Yeah, deny deny was really good that last one. That last turn. Um, ta -ta -ta, do -do -do. All right, turn four. Hang on, Fuzzball. Get these duos in here. I'll show you how it's done. We don't really block with this deck. With Ever. So I could play like the Shepherd and then the Chariot. <clears throat> but then that's all I'm doing for turn. Or I can do the chariot and hold up deny. I'm gonna do that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're not we're not blocking. No blocking allowed. I don't think we've I don't think we've blocked a single time so far. Yeah, <clears throat> Prankster. Yep, that is true. Prankster would have dealt a lot of damage. Yeah, with that block, Prankster was lethal, but they wouldn't they wouldn't have made that block if I played a Prankster and, you know, maybe they would have had a spell or something that, that they didn't play because I had Deny available. It's just hard to say. 
Strength and grace, beauty in the blade. This thing can't block. Can these things block? Yeah, they can just block. <clears throat> um, so they're going to gain four life, so they go to seven. And of course, I'm trying to win on combat the next turn. <clears throat> hmm. Well, that hurts. So I'm not attacking on the ground, of course, because they have that life linker. Hey, what's up, space? So I'm basically just playing this that makes three creatures because it pumps up both of these these two things three times. So they're gonna deny my thing, and so I'll deny their their thing. Oh, it's waiting on me. Sorry, opponent. They're denying my deny. Well, if they have one removal spell, it's not lethal now. Ooh, good. And they probably would have won on the swing back. But they only had the two mana left. And we're 2-0. Alright, starting off well. Starting off well. Next one to play. If you like, you know, just all attacking, attacking all the time, no blocking. Oh no, we're playing against another aggro deck. Yo, Zedmir. Well, I don't want these denies. Shadow Assassin's kind of slow in an aggro mirror. This could be really good depending on what we get. Use Haunted Relic as a block sometimes. Okay. So since we're attacking turn two, I'm playing the Chariot. If we were blocking turn two, I would play the Shepherd. Hang on, Fuzzball. Hey. Dang. 
fall. They're gonna do a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. Ow. Deals three to an enemy unit. I want to do three to them. So one, two, three, four, five, six, five, and six. I don't have enough. I don't have enough room for all these creatures. Hey, after wizard. Yeah, I don't have enough. Don't have enough room for all the creatures I want. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, definitely does seem like it takes. Yeah, it's more thought than. It's been like yeah, like a mono red. This is. Not too easy, if you know if we would have had if I would have had space for one more creature, I could have played the green glade duo first, and it would have been huge. But then again, they have their green glade duo that would have just blocked it. So I have the two extra mana that I can use for a removal spell afterwards where I can like kill Zed. We just need to survive one more turn. If we survive one more turn, I feel great about our chances. Not look like we're surviving one more turn though. Dang. Never see us coming. Yeah, I mean, I could have played Green Glade instead of the removal spell on Zed, but you know, Zed would have killed me. I, I mean, I didn't have to play the extra four two attacker. I could have played Green Glade instead. Uh, I didn't really anticipate the, you know, plus four damage or, you know, and play around that too, too well. But yeah, I could have just gone, instead of playing the other shark, I could have played green glade first and then play the three creatures. And then green glades a five, one attacking. And then if they block, you know, then that's just fine with me. I guess, yeah, I guess looking back at it, that, Looks like that would have been a better line. It's a trade. With my low life total. Alright, interesting. Good good to know. Um this is two of the three twos. Not like those cards are necessarily bad, but they're not necessarily great. Ugh. But now there's this. I think this Glimpse Beyond is my least favorite card in the deck. What kind of one drops could we get in here? Because I think that's the problem is we don't, or like that's like a problem is there's no one drops in here.
feel a deck as aggressive as this, we need we need one drops. At least you know, at least a few. This does feel like too many spells. I am the blade in the darkness. Lady Elise, where are you? I can uh, play this, play this, and then I play one removal spell. I you probably need to play two removal spells. Maybe that's just a move straight to combat. They follow the wrong master. Hey Will, thanks for saying happy birthday. Thank you. Please, I have connections. Shouldn't they block the four four damage instead of instead of three damage? <laughs> Just a chump block either way. Precious pet card's really good. That's a good one drop. The people are my strength. This is tough. Gotta still survive this next, you know, again with this. Six six. That's going to be tough. An app. My life will be order. Doesn't help. Oh, they got this. I feel your fear, Noxian dog. <laughs> You're the one hiding behind a mask. All right, so what kind of one drops can we play in this deck? 
Is this this hyper aggro deck with no one mana cards? I don't I don't like that. And I don't like these glimpse beyonds. I don't like if they use removal on your stuff, whatever. I think you, we just need threats. I I don't think that should be in here. I, I definitely think we need one drops. All right, so what's the best one drop we can play? We can play like Inspiring Mentor, grant an ally in hand ephemeral and reduce its cost by one. So allies that already have ephemeral precious yeah unfortunately precious pets not in our not in our colors so the shark chariot already has ephemeral that's the only one that does then you can give like you know shadow sass and make it like a two mana or we could just we just play these shadow fiends yeah these things are just fine yeah just one mana four three I'm fine with that. So is Inspiring Mentor... Oh, let's see, what do I have that's unowned? When I'm summoned, give me Elusive. Ooh, Sparring Students. Actually, sparring students are probably it. Sparring students work really well with, with this deck. You know, if you play, like, you know, three three creatures and stuff. That could be it. So it's definitely one of those. It's either Inspiring Mentor, Shadow Fiend, or Sparring Student. Let's go sparring student. Let's go sparring student. Let's do that. Sorry, checking checking this stuff real quick. Okay. Replace, replace. Sure. Oh, we attack turn one. We're not attacking turn two. Hmm. Maybe I should have put back that relic. Oh, that was a good draw. What do you call that technique? New recruit reporting in. That card's tough. Everything's better with company. Says you. I'll do my best. Um. So sparring student's gonna be a three three next turn. Whenever I play Zed, and I attack with a three three. So I'll take this. Supposed to be here. There we go. <clears throat> what you got? Oh no. We speak with blades. Fiora's good. Demacian steel protects me. Whoa! Hey! 
Wow. They're trading Fiora away. And then just trading everything away. That was not a good block. <laughs> that does not seem like a good block. But I love it. <laughs> yeah, all of them. Never not block in. Mana look a little awkward. My life for the order. Maybe I should be like maybe this is a spot where I play in prankster. Let us get going. That was good. It is easy, see? Hey, Krabby. That's my resting face. I'm playing the, the I think I'm gonna get the three creatures. Yeah, I get, this is just gonna do so much damage in the air. You know, it gives these things plus six, plus zero. I'm letting Braum get one extra thing to do one extra damage, and I, I'm fine with that. Down to two. Now we can get these pranksters out here. Why can't you do three damage to the to face? Yeah, they, they can't really attack into Prankster. So Prankster doesn't trigger on itself, right? Because it says when another ally dies. So, like, if they kill Prankster, they don't take one. That would be my assumption. Time for talking to. Okay, yeah, only others. It, from playing these games, it does seem like the Prankster is maybe too slow for the deck. Here's a nice finisher. Does seem like, I mean, I guess like if your opponent has, you know, like a lifelink blocker that you can't attack through. It seemed like the, the games that you win with, with it, you can, that, you know, if it was just like a, a different card, you'd probably still win with it. But obviously if you're ever behind, it's, it's going to be horrible if you're behind. I don't know. I'm not sold on the card yet. Not sold on it. I like that we had that one drop. That one drop just traded with Fiora. Which was in, I mean, my opponent didn't make the best block, but... Yeah, I was still just much better than... Yeah, it's not a good hand. There we go.
Okay. So yeah, you've just been playing, playing, uh, been just impressed with Prankster and just kept on adding more because it looked good. Okay. <clears throat> Draft help time. Should you pick up a fourth Zed? Absolutely. Ready, willing, That's incredible. Yeah. Grab. Yeah, do it. Four Zed hype. Hang on, Fuzzball. Yeah, Zed Tribal. That's awesome. Yeah, if you don't have the synergies with Ash, Ash isn't great. I'm really glad we added the one drop. I think the one drop definitely just kind of helps our, you know, just just helps the you know trade with stuff and everything. Helps curve out. I'd like to play Shadow Assassin. The Yordle here's with me. You're three zero so far. Awesome. The order rewards is faithful. And now you're just adding in the fourth Zed. Ooh, good luck, Ian. I'll show you how it's done. Is that what you're doing? You're showing me how it's done. I don't think these are going to do anything but trade. I'll make this block. Okay. Maybe want me to block this 2 2 there, and they would have gave that plus 0 plus 2, and they would have been able to survive. Oh, that's not bad. I'll keep using my mana a little better, though. <clears throat> that's, yeah. This on the Shadow Assassin is pretty nice. I will play my part. You cannot escape. And Scuttle Guys just keeps costing less and less. Down to seven. Or Chariot. Oh, does that work perfectly with Chariot? Does that work as well with Chariot as I think it does? I guess it probably does. Scaled Snapper. We'll be fine. Let's let's do that then. Let's get another another shark. I 
think I really mind that Zed's about to die. Another Zed? It's fine. About to have like four things die. We're just like a little short, you know, I could recall the Zed and, and get the Living Shadow in its place. Um, but we're one mana short of that, and it looks like we're gonna have to be like one mana short of the scuttle guys. So we're just a little bit short both ways. That was pretty sweet though. Wait, you can use the zero mana spell on the opponent's followers and put a copy of that in your hand? You can do that on your on your opponent's stuff? Pick a follower, create... Wow, yeah, you can. Up there in the mountains. Well, that's pretty nice. I didn't really realize that. Still got a lot of damage to survive, Brom. Do not fear the shrouded path. I walk your path alone. So I have deny available if they have a removal spell for Zed. Because of, of course I need Zed to attack here and so we can get some other sharks. I wish I didn't put those all on the right. So yeah, I mean, I could put these out to attack with them, but then we can only have six attackers. So then these things wouldn't come back. So might as well go like this. So I guess that's, that is a good thing about this prankster is you don't have to attack with the prankster and you know, you can have prankster out and, and it doesn't take up attack space. Really wish you could put that stuff on the left, though. That would be so great. They're coming. Hi. No, thank you. I don't want you to bounce my 5-5. Five five. I will negate that. Uh, they're negating my negate. All right, so we can kill one of their creatures, probably Braum. <clears throat> yeah, we probably need to kill Braum. Oh, well now we get this thing. Three unleashed spirits. They will all die at end of turn. What if I... So if I play this, does it count as dying? Does it like enter the battlefield and then die because we have full battlefield and trigger the nexus? I guess we'll never know. So might as well. Oh, it just won't let you. Yeah, I guess he just can't can't even cast it. Doesn't he, doesn't even let you play it. All right, four and two. This 
This deck's fun. Definitely like that one drop. Yeah, prankster, prankster was awesome. I, I, uh, I was skeptical, but that was definitely a great prankster game. Let's get rid of rekindler. Maybe not that. Because we attack turn three. Hmm. Get me a sweet bun. Heightens the senses. That one two. So I guess we're gonna go Shepherd on turn two into the haunted relics. Not the duo. You'll soon understand my methods. I guess if my plan is my plan's Zed. It's kind of either go duo into Zed or Shepherd into Relics. Probably want to go Shepherd into Relics for the Scuttlegeist. I'll show you how it's done. Be still. My sweet that was an aggressive attack. That was an aggressive attack. Always two steps ahead. Uh oh. Oh, I could have played the Green Glade duo also, because I saved up the mana. Oh, I should have done that. Yeah, I could have gone green, green glade relic. How did that move go? Things better with company. Says you. Well, I don't think I, I don't think I, you know, make the mistake farther of, of just like you know not playing it and and pretending like I have, Strike quickly. Strike um, you know, like I don't have it kind of thing. I think it's worth it to play it. Nothing to hold me back. Oh man. This can be bad. Pledge yourself to the shadows. This can be bad. I think I think this Fiora is just gonna kill me, honestly. I think this Fiora just kills me.
Is it possible that I'm not supposed to block or to attack? Possible I just don't attack? No. I attack. So the attack gets six damage in. Okay, or three damage in. They block like that. So we get three damage in, we clear out this three two. Fiora does level up. They still need Fiora to survive two other things, which is going to be tough. Ah, oh, this Fiora, good chance it kills me. Um, no, I wouldn't say this game favors blockers as much as magic. There's a lot of, a lot of ways that attacking is good with um, Challenger is just a is just a really strong ability where whenever you attack with a creature with Challenger, you choose what blocks it. There, oh, there's also not there's no double blocking in the game, so that that does make blocking a lot more difficult because there's no double blocking. I got another barrier. All right, well I'm pretty dead. Fiora just has to kill four creatures and then I lose, and it has killed three creatures so far. So all Kior, all they have to do is kill one more creature with Fiora. Um, the order reward is faithful. I'm basically drawing here to look for some an answer for Fiora. Oh no, there we go. This will be quick. GGs. Fiora's strong, definitely very strong, and obviously their deck's completely built around Fiora and. They had it early, had the protection, had the fighting, all that kind of stuff. And I did not have removal. So. <clears throat> Let's see. Cut them all. Not really better. We got more draw steps, though. Okay, Fiora's been your deck of choice. Nice. Fiora, I, yeah. Challenger is just a, is a really... Fun ability. Um, I've always liked drafting Fiora. All right, so control deck. So maybe Prankster can help out against control deck. We definitely want. Uh, just gonna use my mana. Hobinator, hey, thanks for the resub. We definitely want, um, I don't even know what they just did. Sorry, we definitely want the sharks. We want to find the sharks. Oh, they're purified. They purified it? Yuck, that's a great card to purify. That's, I mean, that's a great card to purify. That's just two mana removal. A 
shark. Check out these moves. What seems to be the problem? Oh, I could. Oh, I still have, I have the spell mana, so I could still play this anyway. Well, I just, I just mistimed that. I should have played the Green Glade duo first. The Yordle here's with me. Round and round and round it goes. Sweep the leg. Try me, I dare you! Yep, so we'll be able to Black Spear, we'll be able to kill the Heimerdinger. Hang on, Zern. <clears throat> Takes a lot to kill the Heimerdinger, though. The As you can see. That was the. This is the deck that we were just playing, Heimer, Heimer Lux Control. Let's let's play the sh the shepherds. I will deny that. Good negate. Oh yeah, I, guess I could have blocked Lux with the O3. That's that's definitely true. Yeah, because the O3 doesn't do anything. No, yeah, no, you're right, EDL. Yeah, I, I should just block and just get it off the battlefield to be less, what, one less creature on the battlefield for me. All right, so now we have we have both of these out to give the ephemerals plus one plus zero or plus one plus one. So these three twos are now five fours. The shark comes back as a five three. I guess. Oh, I should have just attacked with these two. What am I doing? Okay. Not paying close enough attention. Yeah, like that was just a lethal attack. Ugh, two more. Well, hopefully I'm not dead. Hopefully we can deal two damage. That's all their mana. Oh, uh, I haven't in a, I haven't in a while, Beast Beast of Burden. I'll probably go back to it at some point, but just for now. Do not fear the I'm just playing this game. This game is honestly just more it's more fun to play. It's just it feels like a A really well put together game. Just to play. That Zed draw was really good. All right, so this is going to be what I have. I have one shark. Yeah, I only have one shark, but okay. So we need the Zed Ethereal and the shark, so we can attack like this. I need because we can only have six attackers, so I can't attack with this extra two three. The blowouts today. The blowouts.
Whirling Death is awesome. Why am I not? Oh, man. Why don't I have Whirling Death in. Wow, what a blowout. Yeah, that's true. I, I did miss lethal by not attacking with that one other that creature before. That could cost me this. Definitely still kind of rusty on the game, you know. I'm I'm learning. Yeah, looks like looks like they got me. By the light. If only this could do three damage to them. If only. Right here. Green Glade Duo. We need a creature with evasion. Green Glade Duo. No. This game's tough. game's tough. Yeah, but I so I missed lethal. I did there. Thanks, Raychen. Thank you. Thanks for stopping by. Thank you. Okay, let's see. Replace, 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 and replace, honestly. It's not really like a turn two play. That's more of like you have like the other stuff set up, and then you do that. All right, get the early beatdowns in. Do that? The These other scuttle guys aren't, aren't great. You're in the final battle, ERA? Good luck. It's Team Zed. So it can't block, but it's just gonna die, so that'll trigger <clears throat> that'll trigger these things. This next turn I'm gonna play this thing anyway. And it'll bring back the shark. Which will have it die again. So we get another <clears throat> another four creatures to die for these scuttle guys. Cruin, Cruin Outlaw, thanks for the birthday wishes. Thank you.
My true beauty is beneath the skin. All right, play another scuttle geist. Attack out. They are fearsome, so they can only be blocked by these two if they want to block them. I mean, it does make sense to make this block because now it'll be a 5-2 and they're thinking they can use the challenger to kill the other one, or to, to kill it to do the last two points of damage. All right, we had an ally die. Or no, no, we did not have an ally die. Never mind. We can't cast this. There we go. Now we had an ally die. Zed's perfect. That brings back the shark. I'm liking where we're at. I'm gonna just skip the blocks. We're at 20. They can have, you know, like the drain deal one damage. Silent as death. Well, the Karm. Or Hecarim is even better than Zed. This is going to be pretty tough for these little little spiders. Something trample or something? Oh, I, yeah, the, we have the prankster in play, so yeah, they're just taking damage for all right, the prankster. Five and four. Oh, we're close. We're almost out of bronze. Oh, Hecarim tramples also. Boom, 1750, perfect. All right, we got this thing. Now we're one away from the next champion capsule. One level away, but we're a ways away from that um, experience-wise. I think we need like, I don't know, like 2,000 experience probably. Okay. Got a common wild card, a life blade, steel tempest, stand united, and another sh silent shadow seer. That's the third one that we've gotten today of this epic third one we've gotten today so can't get those too long yeah we got all three of them just today that's crazy all right uh let's go play two more matches we'll play it we'll play 11 matches just like we did with this one um where's our deck there we go hopefully go seven and four Yeah, one drop's working well. I It feels like our deck has a whole lot of good end game stuff. And for, for a deck that's like an aggressive deck, we have a lot of end game stuff. I think we need a little bit more early game because against other aggressive decks, we can't, we, we're not necessarily getting ahead of them. But our late games with all the ephemerals and everything seem to be pretty good. We just got to make sure we can get out ahead even against the other fast decks. 
I haven't drawn this card yet. That's different. Um, I don't think we need to keep three three drops, so I guess we replace this one. Because, you know, like, Scuttle Geist is a card that doesn't really work that well until the end. You know, like, it's it's a later game kind of card. We have a lot of later game kind of cards. It's it's very easy to build your collection here in this. It really is. Um, and punch. I used some wild cards today, but, like, no, it, this is... Compared to like Magic Arena, it's this is it's insane easy to build with this. Um, they give they give really good rewards. Let's get another Spark Student play. You. And and yeah, how you get like the the free draft every single week, but then yeah, your drafts can keep on getting new ones and everything. I am the bleed. So they got six mana for spells. They get a five five. Basically, I'm sacrificing Zed to do 9 damage. And also put 3 points of damage on their 5-5. Their five five and make my Scuttle guys cost 1 less. Yeah, there's... Yep, I agree. There's no draft shaft. Every card's playable. Um, combat is, like, real tricky of exactly, like, how you, know, how you block, how do you order... When do you go to combat? It's not just like set up. There's, there's so many really cool intricate things like that. I'll try to make this trade. Like damage always happens from left to right. Uh, let's see. Everything's better with company. Says you. In formation. Hey, Krabby. That's my resting face. They cannot hide. All right, I'm getting there. Down to three. We gotta get the last three points of damage in. We can do this. No, it's it's on Mac right now. Oh, I don't I don't know if the game's on Steam. I don't think so. I mean, I I don't I don't know. I don't know anything about Steam really. You can just you know type in Legends of Runeterra in Google, and then the first thing downloads it. Like that's all I did. No, I, I'm pretty sure it's out on Mac. I, I think so. Like, I think somebody said, I think some, like, that sounds like something that I remember somebody saying. Focus. Focus. The platforms are Android, iOS, Microsoft Windows. iOS, does that mean Mac?
Oh, that doesn't even kill that thing. What am I doing? Could have just killed Jinx. Oh well. Are they gonna kill all my stuff? Looks like they were hoping that I was just gonna attack with just the flyers. Left to right, so they're already dead for the rest. Yeah, it's definitely their plan, is it's gonna be on mobile. It's just you know, like the game's only been out for a couple of weeks, so it's not on mobile yet. Silver! Alright, we ranking up. Yes, yeah, so we need 2,000 for the next champion capsule. Because as far as the rewards go, like how easy it is to build stuff, basically, like you, you earn experience from, you know, winning games and everything. Um, and so like you can just keep on playing, winning games, and you just keep on winning all this free stuff. And that's like on in one region. Every single region has all those rewards. Um, so just tons and tons of rewards that you can get. <laughs> thanks, yeah. Thanks for the sil silver hype. All right, one more. Is that a fun one? <clears throat> yeah, copying decks is, is weird. Um... I'm, I'm out of the screen now, but basically uh, you have to have like a really long deck code. Let's see. So this this was the Heimer Lux control deck that we played earlier. And it's on here. Um, you export it. You have to like copy this like long code and then you just input this code into your... Um, You copy that long code it into like the import deck section under your collection. So the shark attacks for three this turn, duo attacks for two. Victory requires a sharp blade. We can play the shark, or we can play the duo next turn also, and it, and it's fine. Or playing the shark next turn isn't that great. For glory. Hey. I keep step with the heartbeat of Noxus. Hmm. Prankster's going to do three damage to them right now. I guess they could still take it, though. All right, yeah, let's play the Prankster.
They have a good. This is a good combo. That's you know going to be killing one of our things next turn for sure. They may be like icing some stuff. Frostbite my. Never see us coming. My flyer. Don't do it, don't frostbite, don't do it. Don't frostbite. No. Harsh winds frostbite two enemies. That's not that's not as bad because that you know takes up their whole turn. Six mana is a lot. That's alright. They're down to eight. Ooh. Remember why we fight face me. This thing costs three. I will unite the frail yard. Um. That's fine. So I wonder, will this copy the 3 1? No, it's a 2 1. Alright, we'll see if they got more Frostbite stuff. I hope not. Hey, We're gonna go and play another duo, play the Zed. <clears throat> and attack with a lot of stuff. Yeah, this this game is just a ton of fun. It's really well put together. Um, very, very skill intensive, and all the games are really close. Tons of thinking to be doing all the time. It's also really easy to, to build a collection for, for free. And actually play, like, like really, truly play free, you know, do free to play. And not spend any money. Alright, so they're not dead yet. But we got a good attack in. We took care of Ash. We still have two elusive creatures. Our strength is yours. That card's cool. I know I've said that before. We burn, then kindle a new. <clears throat> so this brings back my Zed. Oh, there goes Ed. I think we can take six. I like I don't think there's with two mana they're gonna have any like you know, add six more damage kind of thing. No, you can't double block. <laughs> no, that's that's my opinion, historical society. No, so yeah, there's no double blocking. 
All right, so I'm just going to I'm just going straight to combat. I'm not going to play a creature because if I play a creature, they could play one. So then let's just go to combat. We got these two elusives. Boom. Yeah, I'm not like sponsored by them or anything. Definitely interested to see how it continues to evolve because obviously we're just we just have the one set right now like the because the game just came out <clears throat> but it sounds like there's gonna be like a new set every like four months so like like, like three sets a year yep yep there's ev uh, basically all creatures have haste you get to you can attack with everything whenever you play it. Um, you get to you know choose what you want to mulligan. Uh, yeah, there's there's a trample, like basically trample flying. I'm actually here. So you know, like they they have a one drop, so it's you know goblin guy to get to attack with it. It's cool. So. One one person's the attacker, one person's the defender. So I'm the attack now I'm the attacker this turn. So they don't they don't get to attack with anything this turn, I do. But both players get to play creatures. So that's so that makes it really cool how like both players, you know, gain mana each time and both players play creatures. So it's not just it really makes it so like being on the play is not as huge of an advantage. Their strategy to. There's no like certain attack step. You can keep playing stuff and then go to attack at the end. You can attack immediately. You basically get to choose whenever you want to attack. Yeah, all the creatures have vigilance. So yeah, they all have haste and vigilance. Everybody's attacking, everybody's blocking. So it would be better for me to play the 1-1 one, one, that whenever you play a new thing, it, it grows. And then play the 2-3 two two, after that. But if I do that, like you know, if you play the 1-1 one, one first, then they then it's their priority so they can just go to combat. So then I, I would not have been able to you know, play my 2-3 before they attacked with their 2-2. Two, two. I didn't mean to play. I didn't mean to click that. All right, so we're getting three ephemeral one ones, but because of this thing, now they're all they're all two twos. That pumps up this thing to be a five five. We're gonna attack with them all. We have a shark that we attacked and died already, so the the shark so a shark comes back every time we attack with ephemerals. These are things that basically they just die whenever they hit or end step, so the shark comes back. That's a lot of damage. Turn four, our second attack step, our second attack turn. Stand strong. Whoa. Hey. This creature here is tough, it means it takes one less damage from sources. So instead of taking two damage here, they would have taken just one damage. And whenever all my creatures die, they take one. Um, charge? The 
order rewards its faithful. See, so yeah, I just don't really have a reason to need to block. I'll write my own story. So I'm playing the shark even though it's just going to die at end step and I'm not even attacking. Because remember, whenever I attack with another ephemeral, it will come back. You can only have six creatures out at a time. Either just here on your battlefield or in the attack zone. So I'm actually kind of... I can't like play the shark next turn and play this thing that gets two creatures. Because that's seven creatures. Yeah, Oni is abandoned. It has kind of a banding type thing where there's people that have, um, they give a buff to the person, to the creature on their right whenever they're attacking. I don't know. I guess it's kind of like banding. Kind of more like soul bond. Wow. Swimstrim, huge, huge host. That is amazing. What's up, everybody, from Swimstrim's stream? Let's see. All right, we're going to get some going to get some sharks. Welcome everybody. Um, so yeah, so we're playing, obviously we're playing Legends of Terror. We're in silver rank right now to start playing it five days ago. We got a cool ephemeral deck that we're playing and opponent surrendered. Hey, what's up everybody? Um, I saw Sw Swimstrom has like some, you know, like, cause being somebody kind of newer to the game, but this is a, a game that I'm planning on playing a lot. I want to really like this game. This game's just awesome. Um, all right, well, we're going to play some more. I need to get the deck code because I didn't have it out. Let's get this deck code. Anyway, so Swimstream's a, a you know, just an awesome resource for good meta decks. Um, I saw that and, and uh, I really appreciate that because that's something that, uh, you know, it's hard to figure out like what are what are like the good decks to play kind of thing. And Swimstream does a great job of that. All right, so let me get this code down here for the deck list command. So there's the deck list command. I, I probably, I, I, yeah, I probably am karate. I really like this game. It's just, we, that's what we've been talking about. Like how well this game is put together and how, um, I can just keep this. Let's do it. I'm in there. <clears throat> how just fun every single game is, how close every single game is, and so on. Hey, gamer, life's good. Yeah, it's birthday today. That's awesome getting this huge host. Um, There's nothing to fear. Uh, on my birthday, if so, we've been doing uh, we've been doing a lot of expeditions. Let's just get the duo in play. I don't know. We could get double Soul Shepherd. Let's just get duo. Hang on, thanks, Redbox. thanks, y'all. Um, for those y'all y'all that also knew, I so I've been uploading the last five days. We've been playing like six, seven hours every single day. And that's that's what I do. I stream full time here. Um, so I've been playing this game full time oh, you're in for it. recently. And so I've been putting all the uploads up on YouTube. So if you if you wanna check out like, uh, like our expeditions that we've been doing and my first forays into Constructed, which a lot of it was, you know, like the budget beginner decks. Today's like the first day that I started using wild cards. 
Man, Zed's so good too. Let's just go Zed. I am the blade in the darkness. Are you supposed to be here? Yeah, swim. No, my Zed. Alright, well. You can sit back. And not get killed by Elise. <clears throat> cool, yeah. Yeah, I'll definitely have to check out more of Swim Stream. And like I said, I know he's got like the site that has the meta decks, which is awesome. So I can only have six creatures out. So how do I want to... The main question is how I want to... Um... use my use the room that i have you know i have to okay well that takes up one spot I you to the spider God. You know, we have a, how much space you have for creatures is a finite resource Does death follow me or peace? What's that noise? Weak okay you watch too. swim on artifact and myth guard too sweet Thanks, Karate. But yeah, so my normal stream time is 3 o'clock to 10 o'clock Eastern time. For those of y'all newer to the channel. So 3 to 10 Eastern every day. You know, not, not just weekdays or anything. Every day. We're going to be here playing Magic. Wow. I'm just so used to saying that. Sorry. Playing Legends of Runeterra. There we go. That's what I meant to say. So I can get three, two, three, three, threes with the relic, or just get Zed. <laughs> I am the in the darkness. Are you supposed to be here? Uh. Yeah, this magic looks a little different since last week. No, the frenzied skitter. Okay, so that thing's a 3-3. Three, three. Doesn't really make sense to attack with basically anything now. Just, I don't have enough room for stuff. Hey, After Wizard, thanks for gifting out a sub. Welcome to the channel there, Sam. All right, 23rd sub of the day. All right, well, Elise has gives everything Challenger, so they get to... I mean, this thing's not a spooky spider, but everything else. So they get to <clears throat> make the most profitable attack possible. Challenger is a really powerful mechanic. That hurts. That frenzied skitter making it not profitable attack with the Zed started all that. I'll play this first and draw a card first just to see if there's anything better for me to do. Because maybe we would draw the two mana removal spell that deals three if we had a creature die. That black spear. That card right there. Dang. 
opponent's hand was pretty solid. All right, so now these haunted relics, these are all going to be two twos. I don't think I have any sharks either. Oh my gosh. Oh right, because that's the card they can play play twice. They had their six mana, right? So that's they didn't even use another one, right? Yeah, that's brutal. Okay. Bring Zed back. Zed's gonna be getting killed by this three this three one challenger. Oh, why didn't I play the sparring student first? I just got excited by my top deck. My top top deck was too exciting. What you got? Vile Feast. How are we doing on Hecarim? Only one? <laughs> oh, I thought we were doing a little better than that. I guess we've never played this card yet. Okay, well, there are three ones gone. Okay. The, suddenly we're not in that bad of a spot. Oh, well, that will kill Zed. What do you call that technique? I don't even know if it's worth playing the sparring students, TBH. If they want, they can kill it with the queen. But they can they could have already killed the O3 with the queen anyway. That was a great draw. So we're looking fine. <clears throat> With having Hecarim. Oh gosh. Why is that card so good? Hmm. It does half damage, yeah. It, yeah, whatever. It does half of your, and whenever it dies, they just put it back in hand. Um. Man, I felt really good about this until that Commander Ledros. I I wish I would have just gone straight to attacks now, obviously. Would have known they would have had that. Yep, the regions definitely do have different styles and archetypes. You can have you can have uh, two regions in your deck for constructed. You can have cards from two different regions. No more. You can't have three. Uh oh. You must get by these first. That obviously means so. <clears throat> unless we draw something good. Nope, we're taking lethal. 
They just pulled, they have the spooky spider. Pull that. All right, eight and five. I don't think yeah you can't it's not it's not something that you can deny yeah Ledros definitely finishes out games super fast really cool you were playing burn ephemerals too awesome do you have any one drops in your burn ephemerals deck I have I have the students but I kind of want more one drops one drops are good, but there's not, I don't know about like the one mana four, three ephemeral. Like, is that card good? Is that card better than student? I don't really have any experience with that card. I'm not sure. Thanks gamer. Yeah. Yeah, come on by tomorrow. So, yep, I'll be here 3 to 10 Eastern. I'm going a little late today because it's my birth, you know, birthday stream. I started early um, also. Let's replace those. Keep the duos. Shadow Fiend, is that is that the name of the one mana four three? If you run Stirred Spirits, then SI any one drop with Death Wish is nice. Hey Krabby! What is this? That's jury rig? A goon panda. Never see us coming. The cute little pet. Not sure why this five isn't showing up. There it is. Yeah, four damage turn one. That is pretty sweet. But it's basically just a. Uh, you know, a lava axe. Like that's all that's all it's doing is just dealing the damage. I always like to draw cards as early as possible. This is where it's kind of tough. You know, obviously we can just attack for four in the air right now, or I can try playing another duo and then like a student or an, another duo and then three unleashed spirits. The Yordle here is with me. And just try to do a whole lot of damage. But then, you know, we could get punished by something. Oh, that's a fast spell. That, they would have done that anyway. That does mean that I have the ability to play this this barring student now also and this. Oh, you can pet the Poro? What just by clicking on it? Is that is that me petting the Poro? Tails waggling. I think it's, the word is wagging, not wagging. Them. <laughs> Click it more. <laughs> I will play my part. Oh, click and shake. Ah, <laughs> uh, well, you can't do it to theirs. Oh, big big time attack there. 
Got rid of all their creatures, and they're down to nine. What seems to oh, no. Um... And the blade in the darkness. Are you supposed to be here? Hammering are so good. Round and round and round it goes. No, just stop. Stop. I wanted to go straight to attackers, but it looks like we're gonna play stuff now. So I guess I play stuff pre-combat. Ooh. I was going to play Prankster, then Zed. Um, but maybe I should just go Zed, hold up, deny. Yeah, I'm going to do Zed, hold up, deny. Deny's a, one of our best cards against Timer Dinger. For sure. That's just two one ones. They cannot hide. We go. They can just like chump block until the end of days. You're not running Shadow Assassin. Okay, the Shadow Assassin's been fine, but not spectacular. You have Iron Hair Bringer and Theon Slot Slaughter of Shadows. It's smaller than the diagram. Hmm. My life for the order. So I, you know, they still have the five mana. I could definitely be punished for for tapping out, not denying anymore. But we, you know, went through combat. So how are you doing? I'm at four ephemeral allies. Yeah, I think no, 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 no. I think you're right. I think you, I think this deck ha should probably just be super aggressive, which is why, <clears throat> which is why I was kind of talking about the one drops, because if you are super aggressive, you gotta got you know you gotta have one drops. Problem with playing Hikaram is we don't have Deny to keep up as well. I don't know. Some of you just bad things happen whenever you start playing stuff. Hey, 
Hey, Gibbs. I tried denying this because I want to get this four points of damage in. Okay, they denied mine. So I only get two points of damage in, so they're going down to five. <clears throat> they take this, they go down to four. This is one short of killing them. Thanks, Gibbs. Thank you. So I can put them down to one by casting Haunted Relic. Um, I'm going to just play some more flyers that draw cards. I'm just going to draw some more cards. <laughs> Childhood Dream is getting a turn three kill of Zed. That's a tough one. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Yeah, that's 12, 12 to the face. Yeah, no, I'm dead. Yeah, I kind of realized that as soon as... Yeah, I realized that too late. Oh, I realized that too late. Yeah, these things are fearsome. I can't block them. Hmm. Man, I was one point off of killing him. Because, yeah, I could have played this, which would have dealt three damage. They would have gone down to one. These are all creatures. Yep. <clears throat> yep, that fearsome. Yeah, yep, I should have dropped Zed as a blocker. That's exactly what I should have done there that last game. Definitely should have dropped Zed as a blocker. Oh well. All right. Um, but yeah, that, that's what kind of happens after streaming for, you know, like the 10 hours and everything. But cool. Um, all right, so I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, finish up our stream there. Um, one last time, so those of y'all that just kind of joined in, streaming every day, 3 to 10 Eastern. Um, if you want to, you know, help, you know, uh, come back. You know, we need to keep keep building new decks, everything like that. Try to rank up. New the game still, but uh, learning it, and it's a lot of fun. All right, so that was Ethereal Aggro. Good, good deck, but yeah, it felt a little s slow for what it kind of should be. I'm not sold, cards I'm not sold on. I'm not sold on the Scuttlegeist. I'm not sold on the Rekindler. Those are both a, a little slow, honestly. The Deny was better than I thought it was going to be. The Prankster was better than I thought it was going to be. Um, and I just want, I want some like more one, more one drops, basically. I don't know. If, and some more removal. More one drops and removal. Even like removal would be good. That kind of stuff. Instead of like these things. Scuttle Guys was never really that good. And Rekindler just feels like it's probably too slow. Um, yeah. So there we go. Thank you, Sam. All right. Um, you've, been enjoying the, you've been enjoying the Ezreal decks. Okay. Um, yeah, somebody gave me an Ezreal list uh to play for tomorrow you know to to build i haven't tried ezreal yet you think mark of the isle should be in there let me write let me write down mark of the isles so i don't forget i'll take a look at that one um but anyway i guess we'll finish the the youtube recording at least i won't just shut off the stream right now but um 
those y'all watching on YouTube, thanks for uh, watching some ethereal aggro. And again, if you got uh, decks that you're doing well with and ranked that you want me to check out, you know, put those in the YouTube comments. But thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.